this time we are all resting on our feet. Amen. Every head is bowed. Every eye is closed. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name and give thanks for another Resurrection Sunday, dear God, and for being the God of our salvation. We thank you, O oh Lord, for not suffering your Holy One to see corruption, but raising him up on the third day with all power in his hands. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the blood of the everlasting covenant and for having made us accepted in the beloved, for we are victorious in Christ Jesus. We are complete in Christ Jesus. Sons and daughters of the Most High God in Christ Jesus, and we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, for we are risen with Christ. We thank you, dear God, for not handing us over unto death. We shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. You are worthy, great King. We honor you, O Lord. We bless you with the fruit of our lips, dear God. Oh Lord, we pray many blessings in this service we pray your many blessings in this sanctuary and in this ministry we pray oh lord your many blessings over the lives of this congregation oh lord have your way in this place dear god oh lord have your way in the lives of your people dear god open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing today oh lord we pray that you bless the angel of this house as he comes to deliver the word. Strengthen them, dear God. Be increased in them. And we love you with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our strength. As we close out this prayer, in the master's name of Jesus Christ, let all God's people say, Amen. Verses 2 through 6. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was, and his clothing was white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you see Jesus who was crucified. He is not there, for he has risen. And he said, come, see the place where he lay. And the reading of the word is blessed. Amen. Come on, y'all. It's Resurrection Sunday. We came to give him some praise and thanks. As Travis said on Thursday, this is our Super Bowl. How many came to play today? Yeah. Hell, Jesus, you're my king. Hell, Jesus, you're my king. Your life frees me to sing. Your life frees me to sing. i
watching it. Riding on the cloud. Riding like the sun. Riding like the sun. At the trumpet's call. At the trumpet's call. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Yes, a year of jubilee. Yes, a year of jubilee. Kind of lying feels salvation comes. There's no God like Jehovah. 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 Everybody see there is no. There's no God like Jehovah. There is no. There's no God like Jehovah. There is no. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God like Jehovah.
resurrection center, yeah, I'm, I'm a little sweaty again, but it's okay. I just got the joy bells ringing. Hallelujah. We was here this morning, 6.30 this morning. Hallelujah. Praising our God and our Savior. Had foot washing. It was, thank you, my, oh. Music quick, you love me. Thank you. I appreciate that. He don't want me looking shiny up here. But we thank God. I thank God for Jesus. Truly, I love the Lord. Pastor Davis, this is my, my put them up and put them down, pick them up and put them down day. This is victory. Ha! This is victory day. When the enemy thought he was coming as a flood. We thank God that the Spirit of God has lifted up a standard. He went to the cross for my sins and your sins. That is why we can what, enter into his gate with thanksgiving in our hearts and enter into his cross with praise and be thankful unto what God, unto Jesus, who was God reconciling the world unto himself. Okay, I know it's, 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 it's Re Resurrection Sunday and I'm supposed to behave myself, but Sister Wise, Mother, I just cannot keep it to myself. I just got to tell somebody, hallelujah, that he is king and he is Lord. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. He is Jehovah. See, he is Yahweh. He's Elohim, the creator of the ends of the earth. He is the all in all. Oh, yes, he is. We thank God. We have a, a beautiful, inspirational speaker on this morning. Hallelujah. So I'm, I'm going, you know, kind of decrease. But truly, we bring you greetings on this morning to our virtual church resurrection Sunday. We thank God that you've chosen this place. Hallelujah. Victory. Victory on today. We thank God for the man of God that sitteth on the wall of this house. We thank God for our pastor, our leader, our brother, and our friend, Pastor Brian E. Taylor. You know what, he's so funny. Your pastor is funny. He's hilarious. This morning, we was getting ready for sunrise service, and I ain't gonna never tell you no, Pastor Davis, I'm pretty transparent. I, I was like, Pastor B, do, do we really got, got to do, I was tired. I said, Pastor, Pastor. He said, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I got up here, Sister Kim, I was so glad that I got here this morning. Amen. It was beautiful. Hey, the man of God preached our souls happy. And then the Holy Spirit came in and we washed feet. And we were blessed for it. Listen, when you can humble yourself before God, when you know it's not about you, but it's all about him, all that I have, all that I ever hope to be, it is because of him. Because he got up. He got up. I'm the only one that's shining out there. Y'all shining too. I think God bless you. We love you. But at this time, First Lady's going to decrease. And we thank God for a young man here at Destiny Living Ministries. Holly, we thank God for Jakai. He's coming in his own way that the Lord will use him. Come on, Jakai. that <laughs> and before I start I want to say the the choir y'all did amazing please like can we give some love to the choir y'all did amazing along with y'all over here y'all did amazing I <laughs> I'm not much of a speaker I am a little nervous I'm not gonna lie I am a little nervous Now, um, please stand for the word. 
I'll be reading from Luke 23, from 39 to 43. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished, we are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. And the word is blessed. You may be seated. Luke 23, 43, King James Version reads, And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. The message Bible reads, He said, Don't worry, I will. Today you will join me in paradise. Now, Jesus was hanging on the cross between two men when one of them began ridiculing and insulting Jesus, saying, If you are Christ, save yourself and us. This criminal and others standing around were making fun of Jesus because he was nailed to the cross and wouldn't come down. These people felt like if Jesus had so much power, he should be able to save himself. They laughed and made fun of him and, and asked him, don't you fear God? Oh, wait. They laughed and made fun of him. But the other criminal rebuked the hanging man on the other side of Jesus and asked him, don't you fear God? He told the criminal that we deserve a punishment, but he, Jesus, hasn't done anything wrong. Then the man turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him and said, Verily I say unto thee, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. How many of us ask Jesus to remember us? How many of you want to spend eternal life with Jesus? I know I do. I know when I get up there, I want to hear Jesus say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. It is never too late to turn to God when we know we are living in sin and need to get ourselves right. We can be five years old or 95 years old. The important thing is we have to get right with God. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. And doing, we're doing wrong and think we are do going to heaven, God loves us and he will forgive us, but we have to stop living in sin. Even little children know right from wrong. It's a choice that you have to make for yourself. It's not a hard thing to do, but a hard thing to do. I'll repeat that. It's not a H-A-R-D thing to do, but a H-E-A-R-T thing. Jesus died for everyone, not just people we may think are good or bad, but everyone. We all mess up and do things wrong, but Jesus loves us anyway. I'm glad about that because I'm nowhere near perfect. He wanted his accusers and his tormentors and all of those who were making fun of him to be forgiven. Let's be honest, it's hard to forgive people, but sometimes, and that's why it's important to have Jesus in our life. He told the man who repented next to him that he was forgiven. This is what Jesus came to earth for. Jesus was ridiculed and hated. He was tortured, and but he let it happen. He could have come down to the cross and shown all the bullies and negative people who he truly was, but he stayed hanging on that cross. He knew he had an assignment to finish. He went through with what he did so that we wouldn't have to. When we hurt, Jesus hurts. But I don't think we could take the pain that he did. We have all sinned according to Romans 3 and 23 and come short of the glory of God. We have all done something wrong in our lives. So why did Jesus go through all of this? Why was it necessary for him to die? Jesus did it for us. He took our punishment we do bad things, and sometimes we deserve every bad punishment. But Jesus, who didn't do a bad thing, died for us instead so that we can have the opportunity to go to heaven. And what does it take to go to heaven and be with Jesus? It takes obedience and faith in who Jesus is. We, we may not all have committed the same sin, but sin is sin. We may have all committed sin, but sin is sin. There is no little sin or big sin in God's eyes. Sin is sin. What do we need to do to live in paradise with Jesus? We have to ask God forgiveness and mean it. We all say things, we all ask God for forgiveness, but do we really mean it? 
we may sit there and say, God, please forgive me for what I've done, but do we really mean it? Because at the end of the day, we know we're going to eventually do the same thing again. We need to do this every day because sometimes we may say or do something and don't realize that it is wrong. So ask God every day to forgive us. We need to stop doing wrong when we know it is wrong. Some people say, I have time to stop, but we don't know how much time we have left. We must obey God. Jesus died for us, and, this, and that is a great gift. We should be grateful every day for that gift. Paradise will be the place where we can live forever, and there will be no crying, no dying, no one being hateful, but a beautiful place of love. Jesus saved us from our sin, so what can we, uh, so that we can live with him forever. I don't know about you, but I don't want to miss living eternal life in this beautiful place. Oh, amen. Amen. Come on, let's give it up for Jakai. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for our young people. Amen. Coming forward to share with us. Jakai had to speak on Thursday night. He could not be here. And I said to him, Jakai, you got to come back Sunday morning and preach again what you shared on Thursday night. Amen. I thank God for these young people. Amen. We've got to make space for our young people. Amen. It's a good thing. Amen. To train up the next generation that will serve God. I'm just passing through. I'm making a way. I'm a trailblazer for somebody else. Amen. Amen. It's not about me. It's about the legacy. It's about those coming behind us. Amen. That this word of God can continue to be pushed forward. I love the Lord. Thank God for you. Amen. I do want to thank God for this praise team for rocking us out, y'all. Oh, my goodness. You know, I get right with them, you know, like I'm 30 years old too, you know. Amen. I'm half my age when they get up there, you know. And I'm tapping my feet and I'm clapping my hands. And, you know, if I had some long hair like Roe, I would bang it too, you know. Amen. Swing that hair. Amen. But certainly, amen. I believe, amen, as Paul said, amen, I became all things that I might win some. Amen. And I tell you, I'm so proud of them godly. Amen. Thank God for Brother White being with us once again. Amen. Ah, amen. Uh, Brother Irby Lubin. Amen. Amen. Brother Jordan Crow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for this beautiful band that the Lord has blessed us with. And they share with us seamlessly. They look like they enjoy what they do. Amen. And that praise scene. Where's faith at? I thank God for faith. Amen. Love your faith. Amen. Jalissa, love you, baby. Love you. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Brother Quick, Minister Quick, uh, thank God for you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Minister Quick was with me this morning. Amen. At the, amen, at the foot washing. Praise God. His feet are pretty clean today. Amen. 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 Brother Laquan, God bless you. Appreciate you, man. Amen. Brother Travis, appreciate you, son. Amen. All right, God, and I'm going to get to these, these final two ladies here. Amen. Eva is here. I mean, Shanae is here. Amen. Shanae is here. God bless you. Amen. And my other daughter is here, Roshanda. Amen. The makeup artist extraordinaire. Amen. Thank God for them. Amen on today. It's nice to be nice, isn't it? And to Sister Kiana and Minister Quick, amen. And to your team, for these young people, thank you for putting this over. Amen. Patrice, we thank you. Patrice, amen. We thank you. Yes. Thank God for our babies, amen, who came forward to present on this morning. We're going to get our offering at this time. Is that all right? We're going to share in ministry our gifts, amen, our treasure, with the kingdom of God, those that can and will share on this morning, their tithe, their offering, amen, amen. Thank God for all things, 
Amen. This was the first week our own brother Williams got paid, and I tell you, he is looking forward to blessing the house on today. Amen. That new job pays off. Amen. Yes. Amen. Would you say amen, my brother? Yes. Amen. God is good. Amen. We pray that God bless his people, amen. And one of those forms, amen, is through our tithes and through our offering, amen. Give, the Bible says, and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Amen. Now, Tony's not the only one in this room, amen. Brother, brother, my good brother over here, brother John has been blessed recently too, amen. Am I right? Amen. Come on, put your hand up and wave, say, it's me, it's me. Amen. Praise God. They let me know the Lord blessed them and did some great things in their life. And I appreciate the testimonies. Amen. That God is doing great things. Amen. God is not partial. That's what I like about the Lord. He is not partial. What he's done for others, he will do the same thing for you. Shall we all stand on our feet at this time? You know the number. Amen. 99. Uh, 732-993-4111, amen. That's our text to give number, amen. And our cash app is dollar sign, destiny living number one. Thank God for those that are online with us, those that are sharing their tithes with us, their offerings with us, amen. If you're in-house, use an envelope, amen. If you're giving through cash or check, it helps us to keep records, amen. We thank God for you even now. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Eternal God, our Father and Savior, we thank you even now for your love towards us. Bless us and keep us, oh God. Shine your face upon us and give us strength. And Lord God, we pray even now. Somebody's giving out of the abundance of what they need. But God, we trust your word. Hallelujah. We trust your word that if we cast our bread upon the waters, it shall return not many days hence. Lord, we thank you even now for the sower, for the tither, for the giver. In the name of Jesus, heal somebody's body through their giving. How do they meet the needs in their life through their giving? God, I thank you now for the sacrificial giver. Hallelujah. We shall want no more in the name of Jesus. Let us all say amen. God bless you. so beautiful god bless you for your giving amen at this time we're going to go forward the praise team is going to come back amen we have a few announcements amen that we must put in your spirit amen on next month before you know it the women's day will be here yeah. <clears throat> it will be here before you know it april the 28th our women's department amen will our women's ministry let me say it better will come forward on that day amen you'll be surprised it will be here before you know it get your hearts ready for a blessed time in the lord uh, lady loria blue will be here to minister in the house amen amen at 3 p.m on that particular sunday that afternoon sunday also let's keep in mind what god is doing in this season uh, we've always got to remember to pray. I would like to meet with the men via Zoom on Tuesday night. I'm going to send out a link to the men. Please join me on that call. All right? Pastor's Aid Committee, second Saturday. I want to meet with you after our morning prayer. Is that okay? So let's put that on the calendar. We always have prayer the second Saturday of the month. Is that okay? Amen. Let me say this and share this. If you are not getting our text messages, please let us know that you want to be added to our text messaging list, all right? Uh, please, that's very important so that you can stay abreast of the meetings, the times, the schedule, amen. Let's be informed, is that all right? Amen. We thank God for all things. We're going to move forward at this time. Praise team, come on, and we'll come back and share the word of God. God bless you.
great thing. He's done mighty, mighty great thing. Can I tell y'all what he's done? Can I tell y'all what he's done? He put shoes on my feet. Put popping in my head. He put joy in my soul. And then he made me whole. I was thinking deep in sin. I'm from a peaceful shore. I'm deeply stained with this.
Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. My soul says yes. Is there a yes in the house? Is there a yes in the house? Hey! My soul says yes. Yes. Yes to his will, yes to his way. My soul says yes, Lord. I'll certainly obey. God, I thank you now. I thank you now. I thank you now. My soul says yes, God. When I can't see my way, when I don't know which way to turn, God, my soul will say yes, Lord. When I try to figure it out by myself, God, and the answers don't come fast enough, Lord, I'll say yes to your will, God. <laughs> yes to your way, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. There's a yes down in my sanctified soul. Thank you, Lord. Hey, glory! Ooh. Ooh. Tell your neighbor, stop trying to figure it out. God has already worked it out. Because I say yes to my Lord. Yes to my Lord. I, ooh, I say yes. Hallelujah. My soul says yes. You see, because the spirit man is willing, but the Bible says that the flesh is weak. But when the spirit begins to talk to the soulish man, come on, he has to yield to the spirit of God. So sometimes I say yes and the flesh want to say no. But I got to give God a yes, amen, because I said he's Lord over my life. He's Lord over my life. <laughs> he's Lord over my life. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. We thank God for Jesus, amen. I know it's Easter and y'all ready to get out of here and go do some Easter egg hunting. Amen. But listen, we are in God's house right now. Somebody told me to take my time. I'm going to co-sign that thing and take my time. Y'all done sang by, amen. We jumped up and sang with y'all, amen. We rocked out, amen, amen. But nothing, nothing takes the place of the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't take you for being ignorant. <laughs> Amen. Give me the word. Amen. Amen. The Bible said even a child shall lead them. Out of the mouths of babes and suckling. Amen. I have already ordained praise. We love the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Sit down for just a minute. Y'all making me nervous. We've been praying and fasting and trusting God. Amen. In this year of shift, amen, that God would do some great things, and hey, it has been prophetic, amen, God is shifting some things, come on, God is moving some things out the way, tell somebody unusual things, huh. a lot of things are natural, but when things happen unusually, the spirit gets involved. That's why Jesus operated in miracles because it was unusual and it caught the eyes and the attention of the people so that they can hear the word of the Lord. I thank God even now for many things. Amen. Uh, I don't know what this praise team has been drinking. The Bible talks about new wine and new skins. So something has changed. There's been a shift. I think they've been on the prayer call. How about that? Ah, I think they've been on the prayer call. Amen. Amen. Bro, I saw you there. 
Travis, you got in there one time. Deontay, he there every time. Amen. I prayer call. Amen. Jalissa, I saw you on that prayer call. I get the reports. The Bible says, know those that labor among you in the Lord. Amen. Amen. The word of God is applicable to every situation in life. Amen. Oh, God. I have to preach on that. Uh, amen. Thank God for my wife on this morning. Amen. Amen. I tried to match it with my accent of yellow. Amen. Amen. I tried. Amen. I love the Lord. I'm silly too, but I love the Lord. Amen. Look, look, I'm just as real as they come. Amen. There's no flares with me. Look, I ain't trying to impress nobody. Amen. But the folk at 695 Stone Street. Amen. And oppress my God. Amen. We are individuals and remember. Amen. When God did not make clones. Amen. So we all have work to do. Amen. Uh, we thank God for today. Amen. I have some word that I want to share with you. And um, we are yet praying for those that are going through, those that are suffering, those that are in the hospital, those that have surgery on this week. Amen. We are yet praying. Amen. That God would intervene. Is that all right? Prayer is always in order. We're going to pray at this time. As we trust God together before we go into this word, eternal God, our Father and Savior, we thank you even now for this opportunity to share your word with your blessed people. Father God, I thank you even now mm, that by your stripes we're already healed, God. And we declare healing even through song. We declare healing through your preached word. We declare healing because we speak those things that are not as though they were. We thank you even now for the blessings and the benefit of the word of God that shall come forth from this desk. God, anoint me even now that Brian gets out of the way and that the spirit of God will rise up in us, oh God, to share the nuggets in the text, God. And I pray even now, God, on this Resurrection Sunday that you look upon those that are in the hospital. Look on Mother Joyner, Father God. Touch her even now and be with her, Lord. And give her strength, oh God. I thank you for healing virtue. I thank you for a good appetite. I thank you for raising her up again, God. I thank you even now for Mother Ruby Lamb, God. My aunt, oh God, in Long Island. Look upon her, God. Lying in the hospital room on today. Lord, touch even now, Jesus. We trust your word. We trust your word. And Lori, who has to have surgery on this week, Father God. Ha, give her strength, oh God, to stand. I thank you, God, for this link in the spirit, God. I thank you for the connection, oh God. I thank you for the people of God. Bless our hearts, souls, and minds, oh God, as we gather to reminisce and to reflect upon your resurrection. We thank you for all things. Let all God's people say amen and amen. While you're standing, let's go to the book of St. Matthew's, the 20th chapter, verses 1 through 10. Amen. Let's go there in the word of God for our hearing on today. The Bible says, in the end of the Sabbath, let's do this together. Y'all help me out. Y'all intelligent. Y'all know how to read. Amen. Just pause at the commas, all right? And stop at the periods. Amen. All right? The Bible says it this way. Let's go. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake. from the door and countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow and for fear of him the keeper of his shape and became like dead men and the angel answered and said unto the woman fear not for I know that ye seek Jesus which was crucified for he is risen And go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. There shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. 
And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run and bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them. Him, and they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell thy brethren that they go into Galilee, and there they see me. Amen. We thank God for the reading of the word of God. You may take your seat at this time. Amen. My other support of scripture is found, amen, in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verses 13. Amen. And I want to share that with you. Put that in your spirit. On today, the Bible says, but if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen, then our preaching vain and your faith is also vain. Yea, we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised Christ up from the dead, whom he raised not, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain, and ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are all, we are all, excuse me, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. May God bless the word of God in our hearts, souls, and minds. Amen. Thank God for all of our visitors that came out to share with us on today. We're so glad to have you. Amen. We're just a bunch of noisy folk. Amen. We don't mind jumping and shouting and having a great time in the Lord. Is that all right? If I can leave this thought with you on today, my topic is the empty tomb. All right. And I want to share the fact that as a subtopic that Jesus stood in the gap. Jesus stood in the gap. Amen. And I thank God for what he is doing in this season of sharing. Amen. Have you ever stood at the entrance of a cave or at a tunnel? Amen. And found yourself beginning to yell in the tunnel looking to hear the echo back. Looking to hear your uh, voice resonate in that tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's incredible that over 2,000 years ago, they went to this particular tunnel, amen, to cry into the tunnel, amen, to hear or, or, or to, to make mention, Jesus, we are coming to anoint your body. I can imagine them sanctifying themselves that morning, those ladies, amen, headed to the tomb, amen, to put ointment on the body of Jesus. Mm -hmm. sanctifying themselves for service. <laughs> That's what I do when I come to church. I say, Lord, sanctify me for service. Prepare me to receive from you and to have a good time in the spirit of God. The tomb where Jesus was laid was a borrowed tomb. We thank God for Joseph of Arimathea, a man who found himself hewing out this particular cave. Uh, Jesus finds himself, amen, uh, a place in a tomb, body uh, recovered, amen, and put there to lay uh, for however long. Mm -hmm. I thank God that uh, we see the prediction in the text, amen, the prophecies come forth of the promise, promises foretold, amen, that it would be a sacrifice right before our eyes. They saw the manifestation of what was taking place. This man, Jesus, would be crucified. Yes. One who would never open up his mouth. One who would never say a mumbling word. Yes. Even uh, as a lamb dumb before his shearers. Yes. The resurrection isn't just a historical event, but it is a promise from the Father. When we read Genesis 3 and 15, we understand that Jesus would bruise the head of Satan. He would defeat the enemy in due time and in due season. We understand through study, amen, that through 40 and two generations that Jesus, the Messiah, would come to redeem man back to God. So here we are, centuries later, speaking of this Jesus as we echo in this empty tomb that he is not there, but he is very much alive. Yeah. Have I got a witness? I just want to share with you that the gap 
has been filled. And all of the missing parts, amen, have been fulfilled as a promise of the Messiah to come to take the stage and to remove the sins of man. Hallelujah. Jesus, the righteous, the holy one, the only begotten of the Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you, amen, for the Son sharing the scripture. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. That whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The empty tomb, Jesus stood in the gap. In this traditional passage, amen, we must be familiar with the fact that the angel arrived early uh -huh. to address those that were coming, amen. The Bible lets us know that an earthquake, earthquake took place and that the angel rolled away the stone. His appearance was as lightning, amen, and they were terrified, amen, that the Bible talks about that even the guards stood still in amazement and became as dead men. As Mary Magdalene and Mary came, amen, the angel said, do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. We see it in verse 10, and one commentator said it was a common statement when the supernatural realm broke into the natural realm. It would be a moment of awe, yes. if you will. Some would say a shock and awe. How God will catch your attention. But it wasn't the terror or the fear, amen, that we tune our ears into this morning. But it is the fact that the angel said to them in that verse, I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. Yes. He is not here. He is risen just as he said he would. Yes. This is the statement that is echoed or repeated, amen, uh, or reverberated, amen, in the text. In powerful thought, amen, through the centuries, encouraging believers all around the world to believe the reality of Jesus Christ. That he gives us the victory over death. Yeah. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? He is not here, for he is risen, just as he said. These words shatter the chains of death and despair, ushering us the triumphant in life. Uh, the empty tomb stands as a testimony to the power of God uh, over the grave. Hallelujah. That death cannot hold my body down. Hallelujah. Because I will rise again. Uh, can't no power on earth Tie me down. I thought somebody knew the song. Hallelujah. Perhaps I'm dating myself. However, oh God, I thank you. Demonstrating that the deaf could not hold the Son of God captive in the grave. Jesus had been telling his followers for months and even years, amen, that the event would happen right before their eyes. And on that very resurrection morning, the very reality of Christ's victory became true before their eyes. Charles Spurgeon, amen, the great theologian, put it this way. By his death, Jesus has destroyed death. And by his resurrection, he has torn away the gates to the grave. That's the kind of God we serve that can't nobody hold his body down. He opened up the way that we might have a right to the tree of life. Yeah. Through his resurrection, Jesus conquered sin and death. Hallelujah. Offering us the gift of eternal life. As believers, we rejoice in the assurance that death has been defeated. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And we have been granted the promise of the resurrection unto everlasting life. What began as an echo in the tomb, uh, that he is not here, he is risen, just as he said, now serves as a resounding fact, uh, an anthem that reminds us, amen, that he is no longer in this tomb. Uh, thank you, Lord. The resurrection of Christ and his victory over death allows us to see this monumental occasion as one that we must remember that he was wounded for my transgressions and bruised for my iniquities and the chastisement of my peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. Somebody ought to clap their hands and tell God thank you.
So then, so then the apostle Paul huh, reminds us of the victory over death. Amen. He tells us in the text, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verses 13 through 14. He says it this way. If there is no resurrection of the dead, mm -hmm, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless. In other words, it is vain. And so is your faith. Uh, but I thank God today that we have unwavering faith. Uh, faith that will stand the test of time. Faith that will hold on to God's unchanging hand. Faith that is important for us to have success. Faith in the God that is able to save you and to deliver. The Bible says it clearly. Now faith is the substance of things holy for in other words faith is the confidence of what we have the assurance of uh, faith that we do not see but yet know that in the spirit realm we yet see it uh, faith says I call those things that are not as though they were I speak it into existence it is by faith that we trust the disciples and patriarchs of old stood for the things of God it is by faith amen that this Jesus that we now believe in got up from the grave with all power in his hand you ought to tell God, I thank you. So then, so then it is by faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made, amen, without what is now visible. Faith teaches us to stand on the promises of God. I was not there to witness the fact, but I read the story. I was not there, amen, to see him get up holiday on the third day, but I heard about it. I was not there, but I heard that there was thousands around. I heard that he was walking 40 days. Days, amen after his resurrection I heard that Jesus was seen among many amen for 10 days after his resurrection have I got a witness oh the devil's alive but I thank God that we have this greater cloud of witnesses uh, that believe that God is able to stand uh, have I got a witness so we fix our eyes on Jesus, amen. As the Hebrew writer said, he has become our great high priest uh, who has gone in to make sacrifices for us. Uh, instead, of, instead of telling uh, uh, our problems and our situations, amen, and making them very big, amen, tell our problems and situations that we serve a big God. A God that is able to hallelujah, handle our business. Uh, a God that is able to take our faith the size of a mustard seed, amen, and uh, cause it to move mountains. Thank God for this empty tomb reminds us of the faith that we carry on the inside of us. We are faith walkers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus kept his promise to rise again. Uh, and beloved, we must keep our promise, amen, to live for the Lord. Uh, the onus is not only on the Lord, but we have a responsibility in this walk. An uh, echo of eternal hope. We have a hope, amen. The Bible says, amen, in 1 Corinthians 15 and 20, but Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Huh? This empty tomb assures us of the eternity that we have in Christ Jesus, uh, that our lives, amen, that through our lives we're living to live again. Mm -hmm. That my testimony, amen, is my reality. It is my world. It is my circle that all that I've gone through, all that I had to endure, all the weary days that I had to fight through. Come on, somebody. It is through Christ, hallelujah, his resurrection that I see the fact that I have hope beyond the grave. Uh, I'm just a pilgrim passing through. Uh, tell your neighbor I won't be here long. So then, so then, through the resurrection of Jesus, we are reminded that the hope, amen, is not conformed to this temporal world, but I'm living to live again. For the Bible says, 1st, 2nd Corinthians 5 and 1, for we know that if this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, we have another building uh, from God, eternal in the heavens, not made by human hands, but made by the very hand of God. Uh, we've got to understand, beloved, I'm living to live again. Why? 
because yeah, I'm just passing through. So we cannot allow our suffering, amen, in this present world to prevent us from seeking the face of God. It should draw us closer to the face of God. It should draw us nigher to the things of God. Though I want to see him and to look upon his face. Uh, have I got a witness? Lord, I thank you for your suffering. Hallelujah. I thank you for your crucifixion. I thank you for dying for my sins. Have I got a witness? So he reveals within us. Even on this resurrection Sunday, amen, every tear, hallelujah, that has come down our eyes, amen, every prayer that we have made, amen, it reminds us annually uh, of the promises that Jesus made on our behalf. Uh, he will come through for us in the end. Uh, we have that confidence that the God that we serve is very much able to save us and to keep us. We must remember what the word of God says when Peter shares, amen, in the text, amen, first chapter 3 and four. He says, praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us the new birth into a living and lively hope uh, through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead uh, and into an inheritance uh, that can never pass away. Uh, we've got to stand on the word of God uh, because what I have will not pass away. It will stand forever. I have the greater promises in Christ. Uh, you don't know who I am because I'm a child of the most high oh glory to God let's turn this corner beloved I'm getting ready to get out of here mm -hmm. so this is the good news amen you cannot find a better promise amen other than standing on the word of God God reminds us amen that Jesus stood in the gap while he was in the grave uh, he stood in the gap for your sins and mine. Uh, he crossed that uncrossable gulf. Uh, he took the keys from Satan. Uh, the Bible lets us know that I have the power to lay down my life, uh, but I also have the power to take it back up again. Uh, I just want to remind somebody that Jesus stands in the gap. Somebody say G-A-P. That great abandoned place. Jesus stands in the gap. That great abandoned place. The Bible lets us know that he was hung up for my hangups. My anxieties. My abandonment. He was hung up because I was raped and taken advantage of. He was hung up because of the jail time that I had to serve. He was hung up because he hung hallelujah because of the bank and because of my sins uh, he was hung up because of my hurts and my failures I thank God even for my setbacks uh, and my surgery uh, my job and my career uh, my depression and my oppression uh, he was hung up for my hang ups uh, this is the God that we serve uh, even in the midst of great abandonment uh, the God that we serve uh, he stood in the gap to save our very souls. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, that the Lord is standing in the gap uh, on your behalf uh, and for my behalf, uh, standing after having done all. Uh, the Bible says to stand, uh, therefore, uh, with your loins girt about with truth, uh, clap your hands and tell God thank you. Uh, standing uh, in the midst of the storm, uh, standing, uh, standing anyhow, uh, standing uh, when they walk away from you, uh, standing uh, because we know uh, that the God we serve uh, is very much able. Uh, standing in a place of integrity, uh, standing allows the pain. Uh, God applies the purpose. Uh, God authenticates the promise. Uh, God authorizes the provision. Uh, thank be unto God. Uh, God allows the pain. Uh, standing in the gap, uh, the great abandoned place. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, the Bible says uh, that he was wounded uh, for my transgressions, uh, bruised for my iniquities, uh, and the chastisement my peace. Uh, in other words, the reprimand. Uh, Jesus took my place uh, when I should have been dead and gone uh, because of my sins. Uh, even when weeping endures for a night, uh, the Bible says uh, that joy shall come in the morning. Uh, the Bible says uh, that God allows the pain, uh, but the Bible says uh, many are the afflictions uh, of the righteous, uh, but the Lord shall uh, deliver us out of them all. Uh, God allows 
knows the pain uh, that we have to go through. Uh, the Bible says uh, it'll put no more upon us uh, than what we can bear. Uh, clap your hands and tell God, thank you. God, uh, hallelujah. Standing in the gap, God applies the purpose. There is a purpose in your life. You have reason to live and not die and to declare the works of the Lord. God applies the purpose that all things work together for the good of them that loves the Lord and who have been called according to his purpose. Tell your neighbor, I've been called good God Almighty, even if you don't know it yet tell your neighbor I've been called by the Lord so gone so gone so gone we're talking about the GAP God authenticates the promise Good God Almighty, anything that is authenticated, it is agreed upon, is a handshake. Good God Almighty, I don't know about you, the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, who knew no sin, he became our sacrifice, he authenticates the promise of the Father. Have I got a witness? Thank God for Jesus. So then the Bible says, because we have accepted Christ uh, that we now sit uh, in heavenly places uh, don't wait uh, till you get to heaven uh, to reap the benefits uh, I'm going to reap mine uh, right through here uh, I'm going to bless the Lord uh, right through here uh, I'm going to give him praise uh, right through here uh, because Jesus uh, stood in the gap uh, because Jesus uh, took my place you know Our present and future place in God is secured when we stand in right relationship with this God that is able to save. I thank you, Lord, for authenticating my promise, the promise to the believer that if a man die, shall he live again? God, I thank you that I shall live again in the great resurrection. And second Trump shall sign. Clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Oh God. I've got to get out of here. So God authorizes the provision. Jesus stood in the gap. He crossed the uncrossable gulf between heaven and hell. The Bible says it took him three days. Somebody said he took a nap. But good God Almighty, I'm so grateful that he woke up. Good God Almighty, with all power in his hand, tell the Lord thank you. Jesus the class. Uh, no one can take my life, uh, but I lay my life down. Uh, I have the power to lay it down uh, and the power to take it back up again. God provides uh, for the sinner. God provides uh, for the believer. God provides uh, for those, hallelujah, that will trust in his name. Uh, they echo sounds uh, through the empty tomb uh, that God is able. Uh, he is very much able uh, to deliver you and set you free. Come on and give God some praise. Let us stand on our feet. Jesus stood in the gap. The cave echoes with emptiness. He is not here, <laughs> but he is risen. We can rejoice triumphantly. <laughs> Victory is mine. We can rejoice joy is mine. We can rejoice healing is mine. Deliverance is mine. Because Jesus got up power in his hand. He's able to save us from our own silly selves. 
He's able to deliver us no matter what we've gone through and no matter what we're going through. Thank God for his grace on today. Won't you clap your hands and give God some praise? Thank you, Jesus. Just for me. Thank you, Lord. Jesus came and did it just for me. Thank you, Lord. Just for me. God bless you this morning, softly. May we be reminded of the transformative power of Jesus, that he's able to transform our lives from sinner to saint, from wicked to righteousness. The power of Jesus is able to save from the guttermost to the uttermost. He rose again with all power in his hand. In Jesus, we can find new life, life eternal. Jesus didn't, Jesus didn't come to save perfect people, but he came to save those that knew they needed a redeemer. We're going to pray at this time. All over this building, lift your hands before God if you will. We're going to trust God together, and believe God together. I don't know what you're going through and what you've been struggling with but God I thank you even now God for your grace in this season God I thank you Lord for sustaining us oh God and giving us strength I thank you God for healing our bodies oh God for doing a greater work on the inside God even now God Lord be risen within us God save me now God forgive me now and give me strength oh God strength to stand and strength to do your will God, I thank you for all things. Bless us, oh God. Hey, keep us, oh God. Cover with your blood. Make us better, Lord. Make us better, Lord, that we can live before you and do your will. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen. Thank you, Lord. Lady Andrew, come. Hallelujah. Before we leave, it is always in order that we make the plea Somebody here may not know Jesus in the pardon of their sins. Somebody here may not have said yes to the Lord. So on this Resurrection Sunday, I make the plea. Everybody's eyes are closed. If you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sins, if you haven't said, Lord, forgive me, for my sins and Lord I accept you as my Savior and as my Lord if you have not said that and you're ready to give yourself your life to the Lord just raise your hand nobody's looking I all eyes closed if you want Jesus to come into your life on this morning just raise your hand I'm just hoping that everybody saved, no hands are raised. We're believing God. But just in case, we all are gonna pray the sinner's prayer. Father, repeat after me. Father, forgive me for every sin, God, for every transgression. Come into my life. Make me whole as I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If you have surrendered your life to the Lord, let's give God a thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He stood in the gap for you. He was the propitiation, the substitute for your sins, for your hang-ups, for your trifleness. Hallelujah. For all that we've done. Jesus, he was suffered, he died, and he rose in victory in Jesus' name. We thank you. We thank you for this time. Pastor B, are we dismissing?
with uplifting hands everybody standing on their feet father we thank you lord god even now for this time oh god of celebration this time oh god that we lift up the name of jesus the risen savior hallelujah the king that will live eternally we pray the name that you mess bless the people of god those that are here oh god we pray that you may bless them and keep them oh god let the love of god lead them and guide them lord god as we surrender ourselves unto thee let us all walk by faith and not by sight and father we thank you for victory in christ jesus oh god let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight our god and our savior and let the saints say amen amen and amen god bless you